Do you guys think there's a connection between your high blood pressure and anxiety? If you're getting anxiety attacks or you have a generalized anxiety disorder, do you think that your blood pressure is also being affected by this anxiety? It may very well be. And many times doctors are just not in a position to really sit down with you and discuss your life and discuss your anxiety and figure these things out. A lot of times when you go to a doctor, for many people, it just feels like you take your blood pressure, you get a medication, out the door. It's just kind of that simple. There's no talk of, of your diet. There's no talk of anxiety. There's no talk of emotions and how they play a role. Or maybe you just have anxiety when you go to the doctor. Who knows? But anxiety seems to be a major problem for a lot of people. And I've been a doctor of chiropractic for over 26 years and I try to help people naturally. My goal is to get people healthier. So whatever status they're in now, and I know a lot of times people come in with neck pain and back pain and headaches and blood pressure problems and digestive issues and they just want to be healthy and they want to feel healthy. But they've already been to someone who's prescribed a pill for every ill. They've already been to someone who's already given them a pill for each one of those problems. Pill for the neck pain, pill for the back pain. Then you have a pill for your stomach, then you have a pill for your anxiety, then you have a pill for your blood, you have three pills for your blood pressure usually, and they're, they just don't know how on earth did they start spiraling downhill. They went down this rabbit hole and now they feel they can't get out. And there are ways to get out of this situation. It ain't easy, but it's possible and it's been done. And the good news is it's been done by people in the past. I've helped people do it. I failed some, you know, a lot of times and many patients are just not interested in getting healthy. Some of them, my minority of them, they just want pills and they want pain relief. But many people actually want to be healthy and there's kind of a, a little bit of a formula to it and I'm going to tell you what this is. So if you've got anxiety and you think your blood pressure is going up because of it, sit, just sit down, hang tight, let me just talk to you for a minute and let me, let's go over this together just one on one and we'll, we'll do it. Number one is I'm biased so I'm a chiropractor so naturally I'm going to say affecting the nervous system can have an effect on blood pressure and there is uh, quite a bit of scientific research to support that adjusting people in the area of their parasympathetic nervous system, meaning their upper cervical spine, as well as the lower part of their spine near their sacrum, these areas calm down the nervous system. When you adjust people, their blood pressure goes down. When you adjust people, their heart rate goes down. They have a sense of calmness. They Very often when you adjust people, especially upper cervical adjustments, they will go home and take a nap because their nervous system has been so jacked up and tense that when you release that tension in their nervous system, their blood pressure goes down, their heart rate goes down, they are able to get better sleep. These are all things that people say, gee, that's weird, Dr. Story. Ever since I've been coming in here, I've been sleeping better, my blood pressure's better, my stomach doesn't bother me, I just feel better. And a lot of times people can't even put their finger on it. So number one, go to a chiropractor, duh. Number two, you gotta change your diet. If you have a pro-inflammatory diet, it's gonna contribute to the tension in your body, it's gonna contribute to the, all the chemical reactions that occur that increase your anxiety. When you feel crappy, Anxiety isn't going to benefit from feeling crappy. No one has ever had three Big Macs and said, oh boy, that cured my anxiety. Many people find that an increase of fish oil improves their anxiety. An increase of magnesium helps them sleep, helps them get deep sleep in their body. That uh, can affect them. And so today's video sponsor is Bioptimizers. They make a magnesium supplement. It's awesome. You take two tablets at nighttime before you go to bed, 500 milligrams of magnesium, boom, you fall asleep, you wake up refreshed. Wouldn't it be nice to wake up refreshed? I mean, come on. So I'll put a link down below in the description. You can look at it, you get a discount, yada, yada, yada. Let's continue. Number three, there's been a tremendous amount of research on whether exercise affects depression, whether exercise affects anxiety and the answer is there's no question you must do some form of physical activity we are animals 
And I tell patients this to give them an idea of what I'm talking about, but if you were to take a monkey and put it into a small cage, hunch it forward and let it stare at a computer screen for 10 hours a day, and then give it a little a miniature phone so when it's done with that big computer, it just sits there and plays with the phone. Do you think that monkey, when it's released from the cage, would act normally? No, it's gonna change its brain chemistry. And then I tell patients that and I say, well, what about a giraffe? What if we didn't allow the giraffe to run or we got a tiger and we put it into a small cage? Well, guess what? Are you in a cubicle at work? Have you been, in the last couple years, have you been afraid to go out because there might be a disease out there and so you've been hunkering down? Well, guess what? We are animals. We are designed to run, to walk, to climb trees, to, to pull stuff out of the ground and eat it, to chase other animals and kill them and eat them, or to run from other animals because they want to eat us. But we are essentially hunter-gatherers that's just the way we're designed. And if we don't get any physical exertion, we're gonna feel crappy. And when you feel crappy, your anxiety goes up, and guess what? Your blood pressure goes up. That's the connection. So I say, think of yourself as a work in progress. You're here, you wanna be up here. Just start making changes, improve your diet, get a little exercise, just go for a walk. It's that simple. Also, read books that are beneficial. Stop watching the news. There's a book down below, I'll put it down in the description. I'm an Amazon affiliate, so take it for what it's worth, but you know, like I get a penny, come on. It's called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. It's a great book, it's helped me in terms of developing my philosophy of life, of how I deal with problems, how I deal with um, anxious situations, how I deal with um, issues with patients, and how I approach my life has been really affected by that book. And it's such a cheap book. Don't spend time reading the, the 4,000 reviews that are all positive. Just buy the book and get to work. Imagine yourself, you could be healthier with less anxiety, and lowered blood pressure and all things start to fall in place when those things happen. Mm -hmm.